Hi guys, today we're gonna go ahead and unlock the bootloader and root my Xiaomi Mi 9. Let's go ahead and do this, baby. All right guys, before I begin, this is not really a tutorial. I'm just making a video while I do it. Um, I do have a full universal guide I made with the Xiaomi Mi 8, I think last year which is essentially the same. I'm gonna actually follow my own tutorial. So I do advise following that tutorial. I'm just gonna put my commentary here while I root it and it might help you while rooting your Mi 9. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay guys, so I've got the Xiaomi Mi 9 uh, here. By the way, I love this case. I'll review it soon. Uh, go into settings. The first thing you wanna do is go to about phone and go to MUI version and hit it a bunch of times until it says you're a developer. I already did it, so it says it's a developer. It says you are already a developer. Hit the back button. And the developer options menu is hiding in, I think, additional settings. And you'll find developer options. There we go. Go to developer options. Turn on OEM unlocking. All right, that will allow you to unlock the bootloader. Now, very important, you will also have to go to your Mi accounts and sync it to your Mi account. All right, another thing. Very important, you'll have to have a SIM card in there. I've got um, one of my SIM cards in there and that SIM card phone number has to be the same as on your Mi account. And let's go to our computer to take a look. Go to Google and type uh, Xiaomi Mi login. All right, and you'll find Mi account login here. And under your Mi account, you'll have to change your recovery phone number to the one you're using on the SIM card. And also Xiaomi has a thing where you can't unlock the bootloader on more than one phone per month or something like that. So be aware of that. Make sure your recovery phone's set up. Make sure your username and password is signed up under the Mi account in settings, and then you're ready to go. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and um, download, um, just type Xiaomi unlock bootloader, and you'll find uh, apply for unlocking Mi devices. I know it's very, very complicated the way Xiaomi has it, but it works. Um, the first time I did it, it took me quite a while, obviously because it wasn't exactly easy for me. And it's, the site's not loading, damn it. Anyway, you can go ahead and download the software, all right, which I already have. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, run the Mi Flash Unlock program, all right, and, um, You'll have to sign in here. Let me go ahead and sign in real quick. All right, once signed in with me unlock, it will tell you to enter bootloader. So I'm just gonna go here, turn off my phone. And I'm gonna go ahead and hold down uh, volume down and power. Volume down and power. There we go, it should say fast boot. Next, you're gonna go ahead and connect it uh, via USB cable. And we're gonna go ahead and set this aside. All right, once your phone's connected, you will say uh, unlock user, erase user data. Attention that if you unlock the device, it'll become less secure, blah, blah, blah. This will erase everything on your phone since unlocking the bootloader involves it, it basically erasing everything on your phone. So if you're ready to do this, we'll do it. If you need to save anything, at this point you can quit. But if you unlock your bootloader, you're gonna lose everything. That's why I do recommend unlocking the bootloader as soon as you get the phone. Like for myself, I didn't actually even touch the phone for like two weeks because I didn't wanna use it because I'm gonna have to erase everything. So it's been two weeks, I should be able to uh, unlock it. So I'm gonna go and say unlock anyway. And I'm crossing my fingers, this works because last week I tried it and I had to wait another week. Usually you have to wait like two weeks to uh, a month to unlock your bootloader. You only have to do it once and hopefully I won't get an error this time. Come on 95 and uh, boom shakalaka. Woohoo! If you get an error that you have to wait 180 days or whatever, 180 hours, you'll have to wait that many hours and try again. So um, unlock successfully. I'm gonna go ahead and reboot the phone. All right, this will start you in completely new states. All right. If you want to see my um, tutorial, the written guide that works, uh, the universal guide, go ahead and find how to root Xiaomi high on Android. You'll find how to root Xiaomi Android universal method. This is a method I made last year, September 2018. 
This is exactly what I'm following. It works on all of the Xiaomi phones, all the newer Xiaomi phones. This is what I'm actually following right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and download all this stuff uh, we need. So I'm gonna go ahead and download Endo USB drivers, uh, fastboot.zip, Majesk, Torp. Um, the, all the download links are down here where it says click here to download. So click here to download. I'm gonna go ahead and download this also. Fastboot, I already downloaded it. Now for Majesk, you may wanna get the latest version because this one I made, so you can check here for the latest version. And 18.1, all right, that's not the latest version. I'm gonna actually just go ahead and type, um, sorry, I forgot to update my site, but I'll update it by the time you see it. Um, you can go ahead and just download it from XDA. All right, the current stable version, you can go ahead and just use the stable, you can also use the beta version. Um, let's go ahead and download, download latest stable. So I'm gonna go ahead and download Magix uh, V19.3. All right, for twerp, you're gonna go into devices, uh, type Xiaomi Mi 9. Oh, nothing found. So type uh, Xiaomi Mi 9 XDA. And if you go to XDA, you should be able to find the recovery um, current working. There we go. So here's a working recovery. Um, the official twerp is not out yet, obviously. Um, you can see Torp compiled from latest uh, Omni branch with decryption and OpenGF support. Perfecto. And this should be good enough for us. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and download. And let's go ahead and download the latest 1.317. All right, click here to download. I know there's a lot of files involved. Like I said, um, if you follow my original universal guide, you won't have problems with it. Again, I'm just making this guide as I'm doing it, and perhaps it could be helpful. We're ready to go on to the next part, and you can see I'm at the beginning screen here. Not sure if I have to sign in here. Let me see. Oh, sorry, you have to unlock the bootloader first, all right? Um, that's another tutorial here. So um, this is a tutorial on how to unlock the bootloader. So go ahead and follow this first, unlock the bootloader. All right, next go ahead and sign in. I'm going to just go ahead and skip through everything. English, next, next, skip, next. I'm going to show you how to actually root this phone, but as soon as I root it, I'm going to actually go ahead and install another ROM because I don't really like Xiaomi's MIUI, um, the layout, the whole OS. It's really intended for the Chinese audience, and I live in America, so I'm gonna go ahead and install Pixel Experience, which is gonna give me more of a US experience on this phone, and which is the best way to actually use this phone. And you can still use Xiaomi camera because it's compatible with AOSP ROMs. Don't want it sync, don't use. See, I don't use any of this me stuff. I don't want to. Um, I don't trust me. <laughs> I don't trust Xiaomi to, you know, do anything. Uh, I don't really trust Google, so. I just skip everything. I don't use any of their stuff. I do suggest I'm um, doing the same. Um, I just use Google for everything. I mean, Google's Google's Android. Android is Google. Why I trust anything else? That's why I'm high on Android. Hello. Okay, once signed in, we're gonna go ahead and turn off and then just flash the Torp recovery. We're gonna flash Majisk, and that's pretty much it. I also recommend not setting up any fingerprints. Um, don't set up any security yet. Do it after. Um, that gives you less headaches. Sometimes with newer beta versions of Torp, um, that can also mess things up. All right, once in here, we're just gonna go ahead and double check that our, that our um, uh, OEM unlock is still on. It should be still on. I just wanna double check. I'm just paranoid sometimes. Okay, developer mode on, go back to additional settings and go to developer options. And you can see OEM unlock is checked on. So everything's good. We're gonna go ahead and power off our phone and put it back into a fast boot mode, bootloader mode. Um, after it turns off, volume down and power. Fast boot, boom chakalaka. All right, next part's pretty easy. We're gonna go ahead and um, go to our downloads folder. And you're gonna go ahead, you should have downloaded fastboot.zip and unzipped it. And this will give you all the files you need. I have all these other files I don't need. 
sorry, let me go ahead and erase this. This is from flashing um, Android Q on my Pixel, which I also have a video of. Um, so you're gonna go ahead and copy over or move it. You can cut it or copy it. I'll just copy it into Fastboot folder. All right, so you should have unzipped fastboot.zip, double click and hit the extract all, which will give you a folder uh, called Fastboot with all the files you need. And you, you have to copy twerp over to Fastboot. All right, and also you should have downloaded Majisk uh, v19.3. And um, I think that's pretty much it. And also double check your drivers. Um, you have to install the drivers. Uh, go ahead and just follow the video from how to unlock the bootloader. This shows you how to install the drivers. All right, that's pretty much it. And you're gonna go ahead and go to your search bar in your Windows computer and type CMD. Um, you will need a Windows computer for unlocking the bootloader since it's a Windows program, but you can do the rest on uh, Linux or Mac. Uh, commands are pretty much the same, but you're going to go ahead and use uh, adb-linux, adb-mac, or fastboot-linux, or fastboot-mac. All right, so we're going to go ahead and type cd downloads, hit enter, cd fastboot, hit enter. And I'm going to go ahead and type fastboot flash recovery. And you're going to type tw and hit the tab key. The tab, hit the tw and hit the tab key. And it will fill out the rest of the name for you. So what we're doing is using Fastboot to flash recovery in twerp and hit enter. And this should work. Yeah, there we go. Sending recovery, finish, and boom shakalaka. We should be good to go. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and type Fastboot space reboot. And then hitting enter, you're gonna hold down volume up power together until you see twerp recovery. If you miss this step, you're gonna have to repeat it. So let's do it, Fastboot. Reboot like that. And I'm gonna go and hold down volume up and the power as soon as I hit reboot. Volume up, power. Keep holding it down. I think about one, two, three, four seconds. Let's see if we can get it the first time. Ah, I missed it again. So I hit, I, I held it too long and um, the phone reset it. So then again, you can go ahead and hold down volume up and power. I'm not sure what's going on here. Uh, there we go. So now you're gonna go ahead and swipe, keep read only. And if you go to install, you see that you can access all your folders, then you're good to go. We're gonna go back to our computer, go back to your download folder. All right, we're gonna go ahead and copy over Madrisk v19.3 into the me9. And you can put it in your download folder, wherever you want. I'm gonna go ahead and paste it. And Boom shakalaka. That's pretty much it. We don't need any of this. You can turn your computer off. Go to install, download Majisk v19.3, which will root your Xiaomi phone or Xiaomi Mi 9. And all the Xiaomi devices should be nearly identical. The good thing with Xiaomi is, you know, they've actually have a method and it doesn't change. So when that's done, reboot system, do not install. And boom shakalaka, you should have a fully rooted Xiaomi Mi 9. Yay. All right, I'm gonna let that reboot. Shouldn't take too long. Nice, clean. This phone is brand new. I, I haven't done anything with it. I really love this case. Only thing I don't like about it. I love the transparency of this case because you can see through and see the beautiful colors, but it Picks up fingerprints, fingerprint magnet. But I really love this one. You can pop this out, use it as a stand. Also, that has a magnet, so you can use it, um, use it with your existing car vents. So when that's done, go back here. Uh, you should see Magisk Manager. If you don't see it, you can go ahead and download the Magisk Manager APK and install it manually. Go to Magisk Manager and it's up to date. You can update the Magisk Manager if you don't, if you want to, you don't have to. And let's see if it passes safety nets. It should pass. And boom shot. Now you can go ahead and hide root. Um, Magisk hide, you can go ahead and hide root. And also it should work for all the stuff you need. That's pretty much it, but let me go ahead and download Titanium Backup app real quick. And boom shakalaka. If you open up Titanium Backup App, you see Super User Requests window, you should be good to go. Now, this video is going to be a part of series where I turn my Xiaomi Mi 9 
into a full pure Android device. I'm going to probably go ahead and install something like a Pixel Experience ROM. Like I said, I don't like the Mi UI. I don't like the launcher. I know you can install Nova. I don't like the system. I, I hate the way they change it around. They made it sort of like into iPhone. I don't like the Mi Cloud. I don't like any of the Mi stuff. I mean, I love the phone. <laughs> but for me to use this phone properly, I have to root it and install a custom ROM and make it fully American. This is too Chinese for me. Um, anyway, that's how you unlock the bootloader and root it. If you like my, uh, my UI, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, it just has a lot of bloatware that I don't need. I mean, it's it's actually a really good uh, operating system. It's just not my pref preferred uh, method of using this phone because you can pretty much get everything um, on like Pixel Experience. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this into a Pixel Experience. So stay tuned if you wanna see this fully turned into um, Pixel Experience ROM, that's gonna be coming up next. Um, have a great day. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And as always, stay on Android. Click here to subscribe. 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 To subscribe.